Jurassic World Dominion is the culmination of the franchise. This is what everything has been leading to. Jurassic Park is back, and it's unlike anything we've ever seen before. They've got a blend of old technologies, new stories, and a whole lot of dinosaurs. We're taking a sneak peek behind the scenes to see all the details that made this movie so epic. Number 1. They weren't kidding around. There have never been more dinosaurs than there are in Dominion in a movie. For real. They went ahead and broke their own record. Like, mo maximum amount of dinosaurs in this movie that we're making. Part of the reason for this was because there are actually just a ton of dinosaurs that they were able to include. One of the great things about having dinosaurs in the movie is that you're never going to run out of them. There's always a new species. With the opportunity to bring loads of new dinosaurs to the screen, they didn't hold back. In this movie, we have some incredible new dinosaurs to look at and to watch behave. All these prehistoric creatures are thanks to one very special designer. It is a, it is a specialized craft uh, to see what John Nolan was capable of. Number two, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This is sort of back to basics in the best possible sense. When the OG cast was asked to return, some of them had mixed feelings about the new technology that could be introduced. When we were asked to do this, we assumed with the level of advancements in CGI, it would be amazing and digitally enhanced. But they were wrong. While the idea of CG was super cool, there was a concern the movie wouldn't have the same Dino World magic. But their director Colin knew the only way to do it was the same way they'd started. And you walk on set, are either completely disgusted or in awe or both. There was no shortage of animatronics for these actors to work with. To be able to work with the 3D thing makes life so much more vivid. These real breathing dinosaurs made the set feel like another world, making it extremely easy for the actors to feel transported. They make all of it come alive. Number three, sometimes you gotta do like the gators do. Even if that means getting soaking wet wading through water. Bryce Dallas Howard was just committing to her craft. Plus, who wouldn't want to take a little dip at work? Number four. Who wants to bet there were snowball fights? You see dinosaurs in snow? For real. And you get to see Chris Pratt having a wild time in the snow as well. When you've got snow-covered sets to work with, you've got to milk it for all it's worth. The Jurassic team knew what they were doing, and no doubt Chris Pratt had a blast filming. At least we hope so. Number five. These are the new dinos on the block. We have amazing dinosaur sequences. There are a number of new dinosaurs that joined Jurassic World, but one of the most exciting, the feathered dino. They've created a dinosaur now that is going to honor dinosaurs that are feathered. And while it's super cool, it's equally terrifying. This thing is freaky, really, really scary. And can we just take a moment of appreciation for these teeny tiny cute dinosaurs? Sure, they're freakishly realistic, but you gotta give it to them. They are cute. Number six, it was a Jurassic family reunion. In Jurassic World Dominion, you will see the original cast members back. For this movie to work, the original cast had to be on board, but there were some concerns off the bat. First thing they asked was, is it a cameo? No, no, it's a real role. This was a totally new story, using the best of both worlds. The first trilogy had characters who we loved, and then the sequels were about Owen and Claire, and now in the case of Dominion, we wanted to integrate them. Once everyone knew how much of a coming together this would really be, the cast was over the moon and ready to sign on the dotted line. 19 years ago, Laura Dern and Sam Neill did what they thought was their last performance in the Jurassic World. But it's never too late to go home. Number seven, literally. It wasn't just dinos on these sets. That said, the horse actors never had to face any real dinos themselves. We doubt that would have been helpful for their performances. Number eight, sorry, how fast can dinosaurs run? When racing against a dinosaur, you'd best be using a car. The movie had its fair share of car races through the streets, complete with moving cameras and even drones. Oh yeah, and Chris Pratt on a motorbike. Number 9. Need to crash something? The Dominion team got you covered. No CGI here creating the crashed plane amidst the chaotic ice and snow. As for the car crash, well, what would you expect? They weren't holding back on dinosaurs. They had to go out with everything else. These busted up vehicles were just small peanuts for this crew. Number 10. 
It wouldn't be Jurassic Park without some wild stunts, including falling and flying through the air on wires. While the actors did a number of their own, when it came to the more risky moments, they left it to the stunt doubles. None of them would have wanted to be left hanging after all. Number 11. No one could resist sneaking a peek. Like, you haven't seen Jurassic like this ever before. The actors on the Jurassic World Dominion set were regularly found behind the camera, chatting with their director in part because of just how brilliant an eye Colin Trevorrow has. Colin is fascinating because he knows so much about the camera as well as like just talking with actors. The director was a mentor for many performers. I've gotten to learn uh, quite a bit about the camera talking with him. And he's earned every bit of praise he gets. This guy has worked some real life magic. After setting up all these shots and like the animatronic stuff and dealing with all that stuff is kind of like wizard-like. Number 12, dinos, car crashes. What other action did they need? How could they get away with doing the movie without some fire on set? Unfortunately for the locusts, fire on set was no good for their future. Number 13. We're talking literal fans here. That's right, when you're dealing with dinosaurs, you've got to break out the heavy duty equipment, including all the huge fans you can find. While editing played some part in bringing the final image together, the actors were dealing with some seriously ferocious winds on set to amp up the more dramatic moments. Number 14. Who didn't want to visit Jurassic Park as a kid? For actor Mamadou Athey, the experience of being on set amongst all this magic he grew up with watching was once in a lifetime. Very, very surreal. Getting to bring his own character to a world he was already so familiar to made it that much easier for him to perform. It definitely helped that this was one of the most special experiences he'd ever had in his life. I grew up with this and these characters and it was just kind of cool. Number 15. The dinosaur budget alone was massive. When you're doing a movie that brings so much hype, you've got to do it right. From the beginning, we really wanted to make something that was new enough and fresh enough that it could give people a reason to come back to the theater. It wasn't going to be cheap to do this, though. No wonder they spent $165 million US on the film. We ha truly have spared no expense. Yeah, no kidding. The hope was it would all pay off if they could connect with new fans. Also give kids a reason to hopefully go back and watch the original films. Hey, they're classic movies for a reason. Okay, who else wishes they could be on those sets hanging out with all those dinos? We can't believe all those creatures were real. Do you think they made the right call or would you have liked to see some CG dinos? Let us know in the comments.